This afternoon, the Virginia Hospital Center's Arlington Pediatric Center will be brightened considerably by some holiday gift giving. The number now 450 kids and their families will be getting presents and a visit from Santa. And joining us now to talk about this year's toy drive and the event itself is the center's director, Michelle Allman. Michelle, it's good to have you here. Thank you, thank you for having me. We were talking a little earlier about the fact that this isn't something that you just all of a sudden wake up one day and said, let's have a toy drive and a deal. This takes a lot of planning. And the planning clearly has paid off because now, originally the number we got was about 300, now it's 450. Yes. yes. We're so excited. We have 450 kids coming. We're going to put on a Christmas party for them. We've got music. We've got Santa coming. It's really a wonderful event that we're so excited to have. Who are these kids that will benefit from this? Sure. So Arlington Pediatric Center is owned by Virginia Hospital Center, and we serve children that don't have insurance or have Medicaid. These kids all live in Arlington, and they really wouldn't have access to care anywhere else. You're their point of contact for medical care yes. and, and all kinds of medical care, pr primary care and, and if other things, they, they get it from, from your folks as well? Yes, absolutely. So we have about 15,000 visits per year wow. and we are their medical home. We have pediatricians, care coordinators, we provide as much holistic care for the comprehensive patient as we can. So there's a relationship on both sides of this thing today because it's not just the kids and their parents who rely on your folks for their health care. Those folks know these kids very well and it means something I imagine very special to them as well. Absolutely. These kids have been coming to us. We see kids from 0 to 18 years of age. So we have relationships with the kids, with the parents. They come to us for social needs, mental health needs. It's a really great relationship and a wonderful service that we're able to provide to the community. I think sometimes what gets lost in all of the, the, the political debate and, and, and everything else that goes on, that these are real people who have real needs and particularly the littlest among them sometimes can be the most acute needs and so what your folks do there is is wonderful stuff right so at, I'll share a story with you please we had a patient family recently that came to us and they had come out just moving out of a shelter family the patient, parents were struggling to make ends meet the kids had asthma diabetes all kinds of health issues and the parents really wanted the children to be healthy and they want to do the best they could so we brought them into the services we got them hooked up with resources in the community to get them food to get them warm coats things to wear and we told them about our holiday party and they're so excited because the kids otherwise would not have a Christmas these kids live in Arlington County sure. and they're just not as privileged as some others and frankly in our uh, very uh, well-to-do and and uh, uh, prosperous and busy place where we live sometimes these folks tend to be a little invisible and so anything that that you and your people can do to to give them a little visibility to give them a little help a little uh, nice in their life that the appreciation factor has to be very high on this thing I would guess absolutely and it's a really good example of the community coming together the Virginia Hospital Center the employees we've had Arlington police members of the community everyone coming together to donate these toys and really provide a special holiday it shows that the community cares about the these patients. They all live in Arlington. They're all coming from Arlington and we're so proud for the collaboration to be able to provide this for these children. Just a wonderful thing that you're doing. Thank you so much and thank you especially for sharing it with us. Thank you today. very much. London's second